فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Creator, in his mercy, has sent prophets and messengers to convey his message to different people in different times. Starting with Adam, including Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus Christ, peace be upon them all. The message they all brought is that there is no one worthy of worship except the one and only true God, known in the Arabic language as Allah. Islam is the latest version of the message sent by God to mankind through Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as it complements the teachings of the previous prophets and messengers. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received revelation from God in the form of a book known as the Qur'an. The Qur'an is the verbatim word of God revealed to guide humanity in every aspect of their lives. As Allah says in the Qur'an, this is a blessed book which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad that they might reflect upon its verses and that those of understanding would be reminded. He also says, Alif Lam Ra, this is a book which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, that you might bring mankind out of darkness into the light by permission of their Lord, to the path of the exalted in might, the praiseworthy. The word Islam comes from the same root as the Arabic word Salam, which means peace. And the word Islam specifically means voluntary submission or surrender to the will of God. As such, the religion of Islam teaches that in order to achieve true peace of mind and surety of heart, one must submit to the will of the Creator of the heaven and the earth and live according to His divinely revealed law. The name of the religion is very unique, as it does not refer to any particular person, such as Christianity and Buddhism, or a tribe like Judaism, or a geographic location like Hinduism. It is strictly a monotheistic religion since it restricts worship exclusively to the one Supreme Lord who is the originator, creator, and sustainer of the universe without any partners associated with him. God says in the Quran, That is Allah, your Lord. There is no deity except Him, the creator of all things. So worship Him alone and He is disposed of all things. Islam is based upon five pillars and six articles of faith. The pillars of Islam are the testimony of faith, the five daily prayers, compulsory charity also known as zakah, fasting during the month of Ramadan, and the pilgrimage to Mecca also known as the Hajj. The articles of faith are belief in Allah, belief in the angels, belief in the books Allah has revealed, belief in the messengers and prophets of Allah, belief in the day of judgment, and belief in predestination. Islam is a way of life as it guides its followers in every aspect of their lives. It seeks to give a meaningful purpose to our life on this earth, as well as to guide us in fulfilling that purpose by creating harmony between ourselves, our Creator, and fellow human beings. Islam recognizes that humankind has free choice in whether to obey or disobey God, but ultimately, we will be held accountable by Him in the next life for the choices that we make in this life. God says in the Qur'an, There is no compulsion in religion. The right path has become clear from the wrong path. So whoever disbelieves in false deities and believes in Allah has grasped the most trustworthy handhold that will never break. And Allah is all here all nowhere.